my voice is kind of gone. So today, I'm going to be following James Charles follows a Bob Ross tutorial. So the reason I wanted to do this was because I thought it'd be fun. And because I saw a few people commenting on James's video after he posted it and they said, James, you're talking as if like people are actually going to follow your tutorial following a Bob Ross tutorial. And I was like, James, I will. So James, this is for you. Okay, I don't know what, um, I don't know if he's using the paint on his face. Whatever he's using, I don't have it. So, um, <laughs> I'm using old face paint and, um, actually acrylic paint. So some acrylic paint and face paint from when I had like, like spirit days in high school. So this is probably not good for me and I should probably not put it on my face, but I'm going to. So not the best idea I've ever had because I'm breaking out on my forehead and that's like right where um, he did it. I, honestly, I figured, you know, it's already breaking out, so why not? All right, let's get started. Uh, I'm terrified. Also, I don't have brushes, so I'm gonna be using my hands. Hold up. Okay, never mind. I found three brushes. This could end up bad. I'm just gonna go for it. Okay, this makes me realize how big my forehead is. <laughs> this is such an awful brush. What the heck is this? Oh no, it's gonna it's gonna dry soon. It's gonna dry. What the heck? This is not turning out right. <laughs> How is he? Okay, I'm not there yet. I'm not. This is just not coming out right. <laughs> well, that's just gonna have to. It smells so bad. Oh my god. That's just gonna have to do. Okay, not bad. <laughs> this looks so bad. Alright, we're just gonna keep going. Okay, I don't have black, but I have brown, so go ahead and let's brown. Oh wow, that looks really bad. Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, oh no. Oh no. I really hope this washes off because I definitely have things to do tonight. Oh my god, here comes the mountains. Oh, that's too much. That's too much. That's not the color I'm supposed to have. Okay, well, I'm doing the opposite. All the little protrusions on your mountain live. Little bumps. And there is no right or Mountain won't number one. Dude, I didn't think it was going to be this bad. You can see the entire mountain. It's always more distinct on the top than it is on the bottom. Okay, go to her. <laughs> oh my god. This is so bad. Oh my god, I have to. You're kidding! Now we're gonna blend it out, just like Bob said. Blend it upwards, so it's like a little reflection in the water. Oh my god, he. First start is applying too much pressure on the mouth. 
Like he literally just like ran the paintbrush over the area with like with a little bit of white and there all the sun's a mountain range. <laughs> I want to only have bright green, so this is really not good. Oh my god, and that's literally a shoreline. I will just cut in a little water line. If you put a little too much liquid white on there and you think it's a little too strong, just rub it. It will just be absorbed into the color. It'll go away. No He's problem. such a good teacher. I kind of just did something. Not good, but like, not as bad. God, he's making trees. Okay, I'm behind. I'm really behind. So, um, my camera died. I finished the forehead. Okay, it's not that bad. Like, up close, but, like, from far away, I'm basically James Charles. Unfortunately, I don't have the James Charles palette, so we'll also be improvising for that. Hit me up. Send me that palette. I need it. So... Let's see what um, happened. Okay, so he has like a greenish blue color. Right, whatever. I'm going to bring that shade right into the crease. And then going to get M433, I'm going to dip into Social Blade in the bottom left hand corner. And use okay, I don't have that color. First packing that color on there and then just using light circular motions to diffuse out that edge. Grabbing a little bit of concealer and an M124 brush, I'm going to... Okay, I don't have concealer and I'm not doing now, that. Now on another so. M124 brush, I'm going to dip into the shade Guac. And I'm going to give it a quick spritz of some setting spray. And I'm going to pop this shade right in the middle of the crease. And then just like always with any of that excess shadow that's left on the brush, I'm just going to blend in that edge so there's no harsh line on that cut crease. Dipping into a tiny bit of B, and I'm gonna pop that in the inner corner. I'm gonna highlight my inner corner from the yellow, yellow like so did with his trees. We'll be doing the lash, I'm gonna grab a little bit orange. of orange cola and pack this right up against the lash line. I'm gonna tap into both playground and a little bit of brother to kind of make a more phthalo blue type of mixture, if you will. Not his look, but kind of a look. You guys, I think that is this Bob Ross makeup tutorial all complete. <laughs> the mountain doesn't look that bad. The trees are literally just kind of like green and brown, just kind of like mushed onto my forehead. Like there's no definition of anything. My eyes, it looks like I just put one color all over my eye and just called it a day. But um, no, I tried. I tried to put like five different colors. Um, there's the finished look. I think I did a fantastic job. Um, I don't know what else to tell you. Like. I'm pretty much James Charles, so follow me. This was a really stupid video, but I just wanted to do it, and that's uh, all that matters, so you're welcome. All right, well, thanks for watching. Uh, hope you had a great time. This is kind of stupid, and I really hope that uh, my face doesn't break out. It's kind of good. I'm kind of impressed with myself. Comment down below if you want me to do an actual Bob Ross painting. Uh, I'm done. See you later, squirrely. See, see ya, see ya, um, uh, see ya, uh, see you later, girlies and boy boys. This is really bad. The mountain is kind of good. Like, wow. Beautiful. Should I go out like this? I'm kidding. Okay, I'm done. All right, bye.